All righty. Um, I wanted to come out and make a video today about everything we have in front of us on the construction site. I have gone ahead and made some drawings and renderings for you guys to discuss some of my feelings about the construction project and kind of what we know, what we don't know. Um, so this is going to be a really lengthy video with all my thoughts um, and concerns. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just want to touch on one thing. Um, I've noticed a few comments where people are saying, um, oh, you don't know this, you don't know that, you got this wrong. Um, and I do want to be super transparent that if you've watched my podcast and you've watched some of my videos, I do use a catchphrase, take this with a grain of salt. When I use that statement, it means that I do not know what I am talking about, and that is pure speculation. Um, for anyone that does watch all my content, they can back up that every podcast episode I have done in the last three, four, five weeks, um, I have discussed that I do not know anything about this project yet, um, and the few things that I do know aren't that helpful in terms of figuring out location, where this thing's going, which of like the four tunnels, five tunnels, six tunnels, whatever, however many tunnels it ends up being is going to be used for the ride. So I have been very transparent with that and I'll continue to be transparent with that. So if you're watching my videos and you're thinking that I am presenting um, pure facts about what this coaster is, then that's just your um, misconception about what is going on. This is a speculation and rumors channel, and my code word for anything that I do know is official prediction. So if you hear that come out of me, that means that I'm on to something. Um, with that being said, Thunder Run's exit. So what we do know about Thunder Run's exit is it has been redirected due to a third tunnel that was dug up um, where Tiny Toms used to exist. And Thunder Run's exit is now being redirected behind the Alpen Boutinery or Alpen Cheesery, whatever it's called. And um, yeah, so that's all you need to know about that. Um, in terms of construction plots of land, we have Thunder Run's old station or the multi-faith prayer building that is now demolished. You have the old drink stand that is demolished. You have a new tunnel right beside Vortex's Lift Hill, which I'll talk about in a second. A third tunnel underneath um, Thunder Run where the um, Tiny Toms was. You have a an original tunnel that is now having the most action, which used to be a maintenance tunnel. And you have Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land. So what I want to talk about is the original maintenance tunnel. So the original maintenance tunnel has now been reconstructed using Yukon Striker's um, second tunnel's paneling, that metal steel framing. So that's an interesting food for thought. Um, another interesting food for thought is the land prep that is going on over at Extreme Skyflyer. So typically, um, what you're going to see is construction projects start on the station. A lot of coasters um, that have started construction or done construction, they typically start on the station. Extreme Skyflyer is an important part of the project. It is something that the park has started to tease a little more, especially if you've seen um, CTV's newest segment with Grace Peacock. Um, but yeah, that seems to be a very important plot of land. They're doing a lot of land prep. That's what they call it. Um, to get ready for what I would assume either an important element, a part of the ride, or the station. Um, with that being said, the tunnel that is beside Vortex that I've referred to a lot as a launch tunnel definitely is taking form to be either a lockout maintenance area um, or a maintenance tunnel to replace the maintenance tunnel that is now most likely going to be used for a launch. Um, so those are some assumptions that I'm making based off of what I'm seeing from the drone. And when you see um, tomorrow's construction update, you're going to really see why I'm starting to think that now. Um, with that being said, uh, the tunnel number three um, seems to be only being used to get supplies in at the current moment, but they've done no work. No form work seems to be planned for that side of the tunnel either. They've removed the forms from property. This introduces the most complicated topic of discussion. When the coaster gets to Wonder Mountain, which 99% chance it is going to do, it is going to get to that first maintenance tunnel that I have called the maintenance tunnel for this entire project, and it's going to launch into the mountain. The biggest question that arises with that is where is it going to go once it launches into the mountain? So in red, I've circled the point of where the coaster should go um, with launching into the maintenance tunnel. And I drew some arrows. Is it going to launch up out of the mountain and head back to Extreme Skyflyer? 
or is it going to do an element that somehow gets it out that unaligned tunnel number three? So that's where the information gets really cloudy. Um, so there's a few things on this map. If you're waiting for my construction update, I've drawn some things on this map that are up to date as of today's construction update. So um, you get a little sneak peek here, but you'll see it in tomorrow's construction update a little more. I am starting to think that what we were looking at was two construction projects that somehow looked like they aligned. So Alpen and um, the Extreme Sky Flyer Plot of Land. I think that if you watched my video yesterday, I talked about Wonderland's verbiage um, and how that kind of makes me second guess what we were thinking before. Wonderland is pretty open to talk about the Alpen mountain construction, but not so open to talk about the Extreme Sky Flyer construction. That sounds like the Wonderland I know in terms of keeping things hidden until they need to be announced. So I definitely want you guys to pay attention to that. So I want to hear from you guys down below. Which direction do you think this coaster is going to go? Do you think they're going to utilize tunnel number three to send this thing over to Elpen? Or do you think they're going to launch it out the top of the mountain like originally planned in their blast coaster concept that they surveyed guests with and have it head back over to the extreme Skyflyer plot of land? Now, there is another topic of discussion I wanted to talk about. Do plans change? You've heard me talk about that, and I can promise you, and Craig can back this up, after a recent meeting we had with the park, I can tell you that plans do change. For example, when we looked back at Yukon Striker in 2016, things can get pushed back, and projects like Valraven can get last-minute planned if the park is able to spend extra money to have concepts whipped up. Now, do I think this was last minute planned in the last year? No, I think plans changed long before that, but I promise you guys, I'm working on a documentary on this new in quotations project because we're not allowed to call it a coaster yet. Um, and I will have full details about the entire project in a documentary that I will release. So when it comes to budget changes and changes of plans, I can promise you they do exist. So with maintenance tunnel number one most likely being utilized for a launch and maintenance tunnel number two most likely being utilized for either a guest path, which I think least likely, or a maintenance lockout zone um, slash maintenance tunnel most likely, um, I think that it is pretty obvious that this coaster is going to launch into the mountain um, and or out of the mountain depending on where the station location is. And that is a topic of discussion that, again, as I say this, is the most confusing part of this project. Is the station going to take up Extreme Sky Flyer or is it going to be in the mountain? So with that concept, I've delivered two drawings that obviously are not accurate in terms of where elements will be or direction or anything. I just wanted to show you guys how confusing this really is. I have a team of friends that literally devour any information I throw before them, and we try and figure this thing out so in-depth, and it is really impossible. And when I tell you guys, and even some of my old friends, um, some of my new friends can back this up, I have tools and resources that most wouldn't. I have access to, let's just say, friends in industries that could help figure out things a lot quicker, and they are just as confused. I promise you that. With that being said, do you think that the station would be most likely located in Extreme Sky Flyers plot of land or the mountain? If it's in the mountain, in my personal opinion, it has to utilize some sort of spike element to help it get a much larger launch to head on over to Extreme Sky Flyer slash it would be a really cool effect. So picture a spike coming out of tunnel number three in the Alpen area and the columns uh, for that spike would need to be where the old drink refresh station was and old Thunder Run. Um, station was I said drink refresh station uh, but the drink refresh building and Thunder Run's old station that is just a guess that is not something I know so picture a spike coming out tunnel three and the support structure for that spike taking up those old buildings that were removed and then it heading over to the extreme sky flyer plot of land to do some sort of cool top hat element at the front gate I think that'd be really cool my other kind of assumption slash prediction is the station utilizing Extreme Sky Flyer. Um, so the station comes out of there and then it heads on over to the mountain and then heads on over into Alpen and then back. Now, the difficulty with this is we kind of need more tunnels. And if we don't get more tunnels, we need a path to get it from over in the Alpen area back over to the Extreme Sky Flyer plot of land. Now that we know that the tunnel, number two by Vortex won't be utilized for the ride. 
it makes it a lot more complicated. So to be honest, a lot of people were wondering why I was assuming tunnel number two was being utilized for the ride, and this was it. So one of my biggest assumptions was the ride needed to get to Extreme Skyflyer and to Elpin and back somehow. How would it do that? It needed a third and fourth tunnel technically. So I was assuming that all three tunnels were being utilized for the ride. Now that we know that tunnel number two, most likely 99% chance isn't being used for the ride, it makes it more complicated. Is it gonna head back over Vortex? Is it gonna somehow use a switch track? Or are more tunnels eventually gonna be dug? That's the question that remains. So we are missing a lot of information to fill in a lot of gray area. So for those of you watching who are saying, you seem confused. You are right. I've said that on the podcast. I am very confused. The information before me is very confusing. And until I get concrete information, for those of you that watched the Yukon Striker updates, um, that information usually comes halfway through this season, the year before a roller coaster is built. It takes a while to get that information. Then I am lost currently with what's before me. With all that said, I wanted to come out with some of my drawings that I have been using to try and figure this thing out, show you guys as much as I know currently on the project, outside of some renderings that we've seen inside the mountain that also don't make sense currently, but we're going to wait to see um, what they mean. Um, sorry, I just coughed right before recording. So it's really confusing. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Ask me some questions. I'm going to try and respond um, as quickly as possible. And stay tuned for our construction update tomorrow to fill in a few more gaps that kind of helped us figure out a little bit more on this project. With that being said, I really appreciate those that have been watching my construction updates and supporting the channel. Um, these updates are definitely growing and it's really exciting to watch and the support means a lot. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.